Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. Today, we're going to be looking at a game called Maniac Mechanics, which, I'm going to be honest, it's a game I've never heard of. So, <laughs> we're off to a fantastic start here. This game was sent to me by uh, a good friend, Lee, and it sounds like it could be a good time. So, what is Maniac Mechanics? Well... I'm glad you asked. So, Maniac Mechanics is an instant party game that is fun on your own and even better with friends. In this chaotic couch co-op game, up to four players become traveling mechanics on Octane Island. Nice. Uh, a place obsessed with cars. Here's what you need to know. Objective, your mission is to prove your crew's worthiness by fixing as many cars or trucks, choppers, tractors, mini-subs, UFOs, what the fuck, and more. It is uh, as possible before the time runs out. Sounds easy, right? Well, the faster the mechanics work, the more chaos they unleash. Gameplay. Whether you play solo or with friends, you'll challenge the master mechanics who rule different neighborhoods on Octane Isle. Work your way through the land's five neighborhoods, each ruled by master mechanics, and show off your skills. Comic Chaos. Expect plenty of comedic chaos as you race against the clock, fix vehicles, and deal with the consequences of your speedy repairs. It's all about teamwork, laughs, and grease-stained overalls. Well... Sounds like this game is available on just about every single platform. I didn't realise this was a party game when I sat down to record. Otherwise, I would have summoned some minions uh, to help out. However, apparently, we can play it solo. And, you know, party games are one of those things that's become uh, kind of out, of out of vogue these days, I guess. Uh, I remember back on the original Xbox and Dreamcast where they were really quite common, you know, with things like Kung Fu Chaos instantly comes to mind fusion frenzy and power stone things like that it used to be a real good time so i am curious to see what manic mechanics has to offer so let's have a look shall we and you might be able to hear some noise behind me my cat is uh currently trying to get into a box because cats am i right so what do we have here Press A to start. Well, we're going to sign in. So we have couch, online, options and extras. Uh, I'm hoping we can play this properly uh, single player. Anyway, otherwise, well, this is a video that's not going to be uploaded. Uh, okay, extras, characters, leaderboards and all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to go couch. Throwing vehicle parts by tapping B is faster than carrying them around. I see. The art style is curious, kind of reminds me of a mobile phone game, but that's fine. Howdy stranger, welcome to Octane Isle, home of the best mechanics in the world. Need someone to fix that old banger? Oh, wait a sec, I recognize that gleam in your eye. You're not a customer, you're, a com uh, you're the competition, oh my. You think you've got what it takes to earn your place atop Miss <laughs> Mount Wrenchmore with the rest of the Manic Mechanics, do ya? Okay. Alright, let's see what you're made of. Head down to the tourist information for a little practice. Otherwise, I'll see you over at my shop for your first test. Alright, well, okay, so we control <laughs> our little banger here. I like the way our head's like a little bobble head. <laughs> that, um... Yeah, that tickles me in all the right places. Okay, so we've got like an overview world map. I like it. I like things like that. So we've got verses. Let's head on to tourist information. It looks like we're controlled with the uh, left analog stick there. And we can beep. <laughs> all right. And we can boost on the Y button. Which, sure. Okay. Nice to see a little nitrous oxide in this thing. When throwing apart, try holding down. RB for greater precision. Noted. So, you need to brush up your skills, huh? Yeah, I'd find me pretty intimidating too. Yeah, well, you know this guy's a bit of a fighter. I mean, look at his gloves, he's missing a tooth. Yeah, this guy's seen some action, so... Fair enough, I guess. Now, buckle up and pay close attention. 
You'll have to, yeah, you'll have a lot to learn. So let's put our foot down and get started. I right, move around, right, and dash. Okay, so it's the same controls. Uh, oh, fuck me. Grab a wheel from the conveyor belt. Uh, yeah, well, I just got flatlined, bro. So A, inflate the wheel at the wheel inflation station. Cool. Ooh, I see. To inflate the wheel. Right, okay, got ya. Attach the wheel to the vehicle. Done and done. Grab an engine from the conveyor belt. Well, we've got everything going on down here. Now we've got to fix the engine. Hold. Oh, I see. I think we've got to... I'm guessing we've got to get to the green and not the red. Makes sense, I suppose. Okay, booty. If only it was that easy in real life, huh? So, press B to throw the door into the paint station. Hold if you need to. Oh, I see. Okay. In you go. Paint the door at the paint station. So do we have to throw it in? Right, move the left and right to paint the... Oh, I see. Right, got ya. Curious. So there's different mechanics for each component. And is that all we have? Do we just have doors, engines, and tires? I don't know. Grab the mop from the mop dispenser. It's kind of reminding me of um, Overcooked, although I've never played that. Grab a premium wheel. Do we have to put that back? Yeah, I guess we do. All right. Attach the premium wheel to the vehicle. Cool. We'll do that. I'm not sure what all these points are. I think they're just points. So this needs a car door. Throw it at the uh, paint station. So the controls are slow, but I guess they're slow by design. There we go. So if we get into the red, it appears that that is a, a no bueno. So let's grab up an engine. Get that son of a bitch purring like a kitten. There we are. I don't know how hammering it with a hammer is fixing it, but we're gonna roll with it, sure. And we need a tire. I don't know if it needs a premium tire or if we just want a, you know, there we go. Standard, bog standard. There we go, wow, you passed with flying colors there, hun. Hmm, you might just be the mechanic we're looking for. How about you show me what you can do by helping out at my scrapyard. I could always use a helping hand, and if you're a good mechanic, I might put in a good word for you with the other manic mechanics. You'll be high on the hot rod in no time. High on the hot rod, is that what it's called around these parts, eh? We just call it sniff where I come from, but sure. Head along the road to my scrapyard over yonder, and I'll put you through your paces. All right, so this guy is our mentor, boss, and dealer, gotcha. Fix parts, something, something, something. Right, let's go. So, Betty, oh, it's a woman. Can we call her a woman? Or is it a, <laughs> you know what, let's not go into that. Uh, so, sh uh, scrapyard shuffle, let's go. Slip and fall, press A to recover sooner from falling on a paint spill. Right, so that's why you've got to clean up, because you slip over. Gotcha. Shoot, where's my manners? My name's Betty. Betty. Could have... Okay. Sure. Uh, proprietary chief mechanic at Betty's Scrapyard. This old girl is my workshop. Ain't she a beauty? If you want to make a name for yourself on Octane, Octane Isle, this is the place to start. How about you show me your skills and help me around the yard for a spell? Yeah, I, we can do that. Okay, scrapyard shuffle, ready up. Three, two, one. Wow, we got some bangers coming in here, so we need a fresh door, right? Let's go. Oh, God. Gimme. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Like a professional doofus. Excellent. Beautiful. Lovely. Like those master strokes there. Fantastic. Now, I don't know if we can just, like, yeet this thing. Uh, oh, everything's in a different situation here. Okay. I don't know if we can just like yeet this thing onto the car. Maybe we should uh, experiment with that. So it looks like we actually have a timer going here. Can we yeet that? No, I think we actually have to install it. 
Okay, well, it looks like we do have to do some work around here. All right, well, let's get this tire inflated. Beautiful. Look at that. That old piece of shit's back on the road. Cool. Next, we need a door. Of course we do. I'm not really sure how much time you're going to be saving by throwing things, to be honest. Doesn't seem that much. Anyway, we've got a nice brand new purple door. Beautiful. Right, so it looks like this one also needs an engine and tires. So I don't know if they're going to be mixing it up or if that's kind of like your lot. Ah, uh, yeah, so you do have to stay in the green. Got it. Everything's green, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. Uh, and that one is over here. Whoop. Kind of got to get used to the fact that the mini games for each component are slightly different, but not too bad. Now, I would imagine if there's four of you like fucking around on this, this would be a good time. Okay, so yeet. Yeah, I don't know. Is that faster doing it that way? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I suppose what we could do is yeet it over there. Oh, you can. All right, gotcha. Makes sense, I suppose. There we go. Fix it till it's broken and then yeet. Right. Excellent. Now we need a tire. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Do we get like extra cool points or something for doing it this way? I don't know. Perfect. So I'm guessing like if we overinflate it too much, we might blow the thing. And that would be a little bit awkward, wouldn't it? Right. We need a door. We need a tire. And we need an engine. So let's start with a door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I need coffee for this. Perfect. Look at that beauty. She's going to be lovely when she's back on the road, killing pedestrians, I assume. There we are. Lovely. Boink, 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 boink. And my phone is going off because, of course, it is. It's a new phone and it's not set up properly. So it's going to make every bloody noise under the sun. Okay. Now, of course, we do have the boost mechanic. Interesting. Now, it looks like we haven't had to paint a door yet. Or have I just been skipping that out? Who knows? And we haven't had to mop anything up either, which is nice. Boop. Get that son of a bitch on there. And then, let's get this engine working. Uh, I would have liked to have seen if, like a few more parts, maybe. That would have been cool. I'm guessing we're going to need a tire. I'm guessing we're going to need a door. And I'm guessing we're going to need an engine. Ah, close enough. Hey, you're not paying extra for quality of the work, I guess. Right. Fantastic. Oh, that was a good throw. Oh, no. No, this one's not going to go in. We're not going to make quota for today. But we did get some achievers. Definitely could have optimized that a little bit. So that's given us some uh, dollars, I guess. I'm not sure what that will do. Experiment with dropping and throwing parts whilst dashing. It's tricky to master, but will provide a lot of extra... Okay, so if you can drop it and then throw at the same time. Let's give that one another go. See if we can't get a, a better score. Because I'm pretty sure now I've mastered the mechanics a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Might be able to get that up to a, a five star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool stuff, Betty. Nobody cares, Betty. I'm just here for the doubloons. And I do have to... Yeah, Discord is going mental. I thought I put Discord on mute. Just mute my entire phone. Probably easier. There we go. Right. Don't need Resident Evil 4 sound effects going off. Now, let's go. So we want a door. Get you over there. We want that. And that. Okay. All right. So it is a little bit forgiving, which is nice. Get you done. Now, I guess what we've got to do with this one is if it starts getting too far uh, towards the red, we've just got to uh, ease off on the old 
bashing for a se for a second. Right, we're going to want an engine. We know this because all these d cars, luckily enough, require the same parts. And also, by sure convenience, I'm sure, um, we have lots of these spare parts that don't require that much fixing, apparently. Oh, you son of a bitch. We fumbled that one. There we are. That's fine. No matter. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see what would be the difference with four players. I'm, I don't know if you're competing against each other or what. I don't know why you didn't throw that. It's obviously some extra mechanics that I'm not aware of. But I'd imagine there's a few more. I very much doubt this game has told us everything just yet. There we go. Oh, nice. Got that on the rebound. Beautiful. Can we get a three star? Right, we want a door. We want a tire. And we want... Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a primo door there. Should we use the primo door? Or just use it for next time? I don't know. Do you get more points for using primo stuff? But if that's the case... Okay. If that's the... Oh, look. Premium engine. Okay. Maybe... Oh, okay. So premium engine, I guess, is an engine that's already ready to go. Curious. All right. Good to know, I suppose. Ooh, fuck. There we go. Yeet that bastard on there. Almost like I know what I'm doing now. Almost. All right. If we do see any premium parts coming... We'll try and grab them if we can. Beautiful. Stick that fucker in there. Give me. Scrap you. And a door. I know we've got a door there. I should probably just use that one, right? Perfect. Eat you over. Yeah, that throwing uh, mechanic is definitely like crucial to success. Oh, there's a Primo engine. Gimme! 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 You son of a bitch! There we go. Alright. Is that a, That's a premium door. We'll just use that. That's worth knowing. So, premium products don't need to be replaced. However, it's the wrong colour. Oh. That's a problem. But I'm sure it's not that much of a problem. It'd be fine. You know, these guys, they get what they're given, right? Right, let's get you. Get you. We need a door. Come on, get a door. Pick up the door. Come on, can we get this one done? Probably not, I'm going to be honest. Get you in there. But we have got our max rating, so, you know. That's fine. Ooh, come on, you son of a bitch. Ah, Master had me working pretty hard today. Now I am the Master. Beat a Manic Mechanics. High score. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You know, I think this would be a pretty good mobile phone game, I'll be honest. But, you know, it seems fine. Now. Oh, I see. So every area, I guess. Spoiler alert. Oh, engines and exhausts. So things do get a little bit more complicated as we go forwards. Cool. Right. Mighty fine work back there, friend. Time for another lesson. Spoilers are just like doors. They need a lick of paint at the paint station before we bolt that sucker on. Personally, I like my cars El Natural. But there's no accounting for good taste these days. Cool. So... Guess the spoilers go in the same place. Right, let's give us an engine. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated because we've got more obstacles in the way, but that's fine. Let's get down to the tire station. Pump that sucker up. There we go. Yeet you over there. Get this engine preemed up. Get a board out and everything. Maybe remapped. Ready to go, firing on all cylinders. 
At least that's the hope. Perfect. Get out of here. Now, give me that. Yeet. Give me that. Yeet. Right. Oh, Primo Engine. We'll take you. You can go straight in. Uh, what do we need? We still need a tyre. We've got a tyre ready to go, actually. Come on, pick the bloody thing up. That's going to be problematic. So, um, yeah. You've got to be a little bit careful um, trying to pick things up because it is a little bit finicky. It's not too bad, but a little bit finicky. Right, give me that. Chuck you that. All right, let's start inflating. Not that kind of inflating. Keep your heads out of the gutter. There we go. Oh, no. That needs to be fixed. Of course it does. We don't want to give someone a broken engine now, even if we are doing this for free. Yoink. At least I assume we're doing this for free. Right. Let's get that sucker painted. I'm guessing we only um, make mistakes if we go into the red. Come on, let's get a tire. There we go. Beautiful. We've only got one point so far, which is kind of concerning. All right, you can go over. Luckily, there is a good bit of range on that throw. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Lovely. So if we go into the red, I'm guessing that's when the paint spills. Gimme. Gimme. Now we want a nice engine. Or any old bit of shit would do, actually. Beautiful. Let's pump you up. There we are. Give it a good... Everybody likes a good bit of pumping now and again. We will take the engine. Come on. There we go. Give you a nice premium engine. Of course, I assume that's included in the cost. Or do we even give it to them at a discounted price? Because, of course, we didn't really want that, did we? Come on. Give me the spoiler. Give me the spoiler. There we go. Nope. Pick it up. Thank you. Right. I guess we're not going to work backwards here. Perfect. Yeet. L Ooh, okay. So there is a little bit of bounce action going on as well. We all like a little bit of bounce action. Yoink. Now let's paint you up. Guess we're... Ooh. Oh, we did get triple. Oh, baby. A triple. That's what we like. I don't think we're going to have time to do a perfect job here. So, we do what we can. Lovely. So, we haven't had an exhaust yet. Oh, we might be able to get this car going. Maybe. That's fine. Must admit, it's one of those games that's kind of a challenge to do commentary for. Because you're kind of concentrating a little bit. At least I am, anyway. Yeah, you know, this is... This is... Ooh, Primo Spoiler. That's what we want. No, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Yeah, those premium items, they don't come on very often. But when they do, they really help. All right. I'll take it. I will indeed take it. All right. Happy with that. Fire, baby. Pure fire. All right. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've seen what this game has to offer now. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of like Mario. In a way that you've got the overworld map and you've got all the levels that get progressively harder and you've got to tick all the boxes. Um, you know what? I, I don't mind this, actually. Uh, am I going to play more of it? Probably. I think it's quite a good game to just fire up if you've got a bit of downtime. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. And I'd imagine... I can't imagine this with friends. Like, I suppose... The only difference with extra players is they would just, um, you know, increase the amount of points that you need for each level. So instead of having to get like 800, you'd have to get like 2000. And then one person could be working on spoilers. One person could be working on engines. I assume unless each person has their own car to repair. I don't know. But you know what? Yeah, I think if you're, you know, having a few beers and pizza getting pissed up with your mates, I think this could be fun. Sure. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, 
Till next time. And thanks to Lee for sending this in.